Silk Cancer. Guess what? Seven of Wands in Reverse and the Emperor. We do have Aries energy, so maybe you are dealing with an Aries. And somebody here is actually contemplating to unblock you, unblock the energies, unblock the connection, be less guarded, um, open lines of communication, being less defensive for some of you. Maybe somebody was always with their guard up and always have an explanation. And we do have the Queen of Wands, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius with Aries again. Might really be a fire sign and they might be a little bit out of control right now. Um, trying to get back in um, in shape because Queen of Wands, I mean, she's quite passionate about what she does. Uh, for some of you, this is to say they are passionate about you and with the Hermit in reverse, they want to again open lines of communication here. Somebody feels like talking. Guess what? This is how it feels like. And yeah, with this deck, I do read reversals. So I'm just saying. The Emperor and the Fool, a new leap of faith, starting over. Um, kind of the energy of traveling light. It's like, you know, if it was heavy in the past, this is your person. And I know I shuffle in a certain way because I don't want um, I don't want to make the noise. I know some of you you use um, earbuds, so I don't want I don't want it. I don't want you to be like, you know, um, annoyed with the shuffling. So I go slowly on on the shuffling. Um, Page of Swords in reverse with the Emperor. That is no communication and somebody is bothered and annoyed by it. Might be this person of yours, right? Okay, so we are done shuffling. Let me cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. The most important one at this time. And we do have the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody is quite single, focusing on money, um, making ends meet independence this is the energy of taking care of your health your well-being also and with the two of wands we are expanding our mind cancer i really love this and peace of mind i do believe there was a harsh time every time i do cancer i'm so cautious every time i say i hope i we uh, we can see some shift in um in movement because it's been like a long time of and we had a couple of readings good readings for cancer and then we were moving back towards um, trouble but I'm, I'm I'm happy to see that we are moving away from trouble with the six of swords this is the energy of peace of mind um, and again doesn't mean that we need to physically move someplace but can mean um, you know uh, getting grounded and centering in some way um, you know yourself and um, and expanding your mind and your vision with the two of wands Two of Wands, yeah, it is crossroads, but it's a beautiful one of, I have options, okay? I can do this or I can do this. Because, I mean, we have the independent card, right? Now we can make independent decisions. So it's beautiful. It's been a journey, right? Cancer, it's been a journey. So let's see, baby, what's coming your way in love. And we have past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So let me change just a little bit because I believe you are seeing my cards way too white. And we want you to see good. I guess now we're good. So let's see. Let's start with past energies. And when I say past energies, it's actually the energies you pulled from the past. And now it's the time to kind of deal with or, um, you know, start to think about. And we do have the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Might have been a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn you were dealing with. And boy, you were passionate about this person. It was a new beginning that was kind of on fire. Um, this is um, actually being passionate about their stability, their uh, way of making money, um, the way they nurtured this connection, the way, the way they uh, brought their energies around the table, one of abundance, creativity, responsibility, um, care, 
that's the king of pentacles and really focused on practical things right the whole the how oh sorry the house the home and all the things that uh, mean um, life to you and again probably the sensuality in it and the physical bond that's the um, ace of wands maybe that's what turned you on so cancer this person of yours they came to the table with um the star in reverse this is actually a little bit like the moon a little bit lost um not spiritually guided i would say and because of it things got um eight of wands in reverse kind of stagnant you might have had a disconnection probably you have this bond with somebody who always um, has to be on the move right and eight of wands is the energy of projects and because they come to the tape to the energy right when i say the table the you know the uh, the bond this bond that you have with this person they come in as the king of pentacles a little bit mature abundant they already well established with a career knowing what they want to do in life and somehow they got stuck in this or um, lost right and again i was saying maybe you deal with somebody who really enjoys doing stuff like every single day it has to be something that makes them abundant um motivated right um up and running like waking up and oh my god it's like it's a beautiful day because i do something that will make me more abundant today more creative more passionate that kind of energy and then maybe things stopped and it can be like the expression of the pandemic times and any economic crisis and stuff because this person when things stopped this person got lost right kind of like you know you worked for a business your whole life or maybe we've created a business and we worked and it was good and then whatever uh you know um uh, thing can happen and we lose this business and then boom right we don't know what to do we are lost because our whole life we only did this you know and i'm sensing they got um lost um in transition kind of the energy in transition from abundance to a situation that was no longer moving the way they wanted it to move Mutual energies between you and this person. We do have the page of wands. Again, more physicality, sensuality, and playfulness, and chemistry, and communication, and passionate communication, and the high priestess in reverse. This is also your energy, Pisces Cancer. Um, but I'm sensing maybe secrets came out. Uh, maybe somebody kept the secret, and um, it was revealed, and that's how somebody got stuck while the other person was like, yeah, but you are my everything um, here. For some of you, maybe this is your energy getting upside down and, um, and um, you know, we were very in love and very passionate and we forgot to listen to our intuition that there was something wrong with this person. Absolutely, something happened in the past. Um, and we were, that's how we get the high priestess. So again, might be two different energies or this is you together, physically good, but then in terms of... Um, spiritual bonding in terms of sharing information and knowledge and and having uh, open communication uh, maybe that was might have been an issue there so where are we right now we are healing absolutely um ten of swords in reverse they've um, hurt us in the process honestly when we look at their past energies doesn't look like intentional doesn't look like on the contrary it's um it's kind of like um, life stopped for them uh, this is how it feels in their past energy life stopped and nobody came to the rescue you know um, because the study is about divine guidance it's about wish fulfillment it's about having hopes and dreams and and moving you know um, towards something that gave them a sense of purpose and it's all upside down on their side okay um, so I don't know exactly your idea of what happened, but the energy I'm picking up has nothing to do with betrayal, but simply like the world stopped for them. And they were created in the movement and their only uh, way of dealing with life had to be on a movement, you know, or on, a, on the move. Um, but we got betrayed, I know. Ten of Swords, right? Backstabbed, um, in pain and with the Five of Cups, the energy of guilt and maybe feeling responsible 
maybe some of you question yourself what have i done maybe i've done something you know that's a five of cups get and remorse and probably missing a lot of this person five of cups is the energy of missing somebody um quite a lot i would say and still having love because see the five of cups the gentleman has two cups behind him so that is still love in this connection and yet we are not seeing it we are overwhelmed uh with feelings of hurt and feelings of um guilt and betrayal now this person of yours cancer they might um, seem right now disconnected with the two of cups in reverse and yet they know they've missed an opportunity with you uh the four of cups in reverse is the energy of uh the missed opportunities the energy of i know god or, or their universe their source whoever i know god offered me um um cancer and i was not paying attention and um, they have disconnected and they know that they were not you know fully probably in this um two of cups energy two of cups in reverse is uh, also about long distance relationships and they might have missed uh, an opportunity there they might have not seen the gift in in whatever type of encounter you had long distance and this is also the energy of not paying attention to their own bond and their own feelings towards you two of cups in reverse again cups are empty and the missed opportunity is acknowledged because it's in reverse so they know they know um cancer mutual energies between you and this person right now ace of swords a desire to start new i'm sensing a lot of clarity and we also have the knight of wands aries leo sagittarius i'm i'm gonna uh, speak my two cents you know how i uh, you know it's all about um intuition and feelings and um downloads and how we receive this and of course you always have to use a better judgment but there is a sense of clarity that this bond was physical i don't know who's getting that download and that clarity of the mind or cancer maybe this is um the way you cope with pain by saying well it was just a fuck you know kind of energy i'm sorry <laughs> i was kind of raw but this is how it feels knight of wands is the playful one is the one night stand is um you know we are here for the fun let's not get our uh, hopes up you know and with the ace of swords is the confirmation ace of swords is the vision ace of swords is i know without a shadow of the doubt and uh, because it's the knight of wands and we had the ace of wands i would say it's uh, i don't know maybe sex was good and probably for some of you this person was too busy too focused on their career whatever lost unavailable two of cups in reverse might have been emotionally unavailable for that kind of uh, bond that you wanted or you needed you know and w this is what you have between the two of you, you know? uh, the sensuality again paired with the ace of swords now i know um cancer coming your way we might have a fire sign coming your way and they their head is clear you know seven of cups in reverse is like now i know for some of you this might be your energy of uh, becoming passionate again getting your mojo back because now you know i don't see new beginnings honestly we'll see with the um um with the guidance but i'm not seeing uh, i'm seeing a very passionate uh, new beginning in the past we got hurt and now we are recovering slowly your hurt card is in reverse five of cups is in reverse and now we get the king of wands i'm sensing really you getting there uh, that fire in your belly again because now you know somebody has been confused about something and with the high priestess in in the past it is in reverse but maybe somebody kept you in the dark about something and high priestess is fundamental knowledge it's something that's important it's um the duality between the dark and the light if you knew something you'd be in the light so you you would have made enlightened decisions right so it's not on, on any kind of secret when we say high priestess is secret well yeah but right it uh, it's it's not a white lie it's something that would have allowed you to enlighten to awaken to know the truth to make the decisions either you want to stay into the dark or into the light like a conscious decision 
but I'm sensing clarity is coming your way and we get our mojo back. I'm sensing this is your energy more than somebody coming your way. Um, cancer, this person, I love their energy. We do have five of swords. They are conflicted, but they have and want six of pentacles. They don't know how to go about it. This is beating themselves up over not reciprocating whatever you brought to the table. This is fighting for balance too. I honestly believe that in their life that is something out of balance. And this is them fighting and taking advantage of whatever opportunities the universe throws their way um, to fight for balance. And these are the energies coming their way. Fighting, fighting and fighting for their own sake. And mutual energies between the two of you both taking control of the situation of your own life uh, making a plan being strategic about and five of swords in reverse whatever conflict was between the two of you this is really uh, big being the bigger person and uh, coming from a place of power and it's mutual energy you do it they do it that is a concern i would say for you and this person to solve this issue right when the emperor comes it's like okay we'll find a way we'll find a way based on data based on information based on reason and logic we're gonna get organized and we will find a way because the main purpose for you and the main purpose for them as the overall energy is standing tall peace of mind and choosing the right path Right? That's the two of wands. Choosing the right path. And for you and for them. <clears throat> so, um, I love the Ace of Swords. As, um, I, I call it the centerpiece of the reading. Because the whole reading, the whole reading actually, um, kind of um, orbits around Ace of Swords. Right? The clarity of the mind, nothing um, uh, clouds your judgment right now, right? And um, and in some way, the, the Knight of Wands, it's the passion, right? But I'm sensing more some physical bond that you had. We might have mistaken it for love. That's another story I'm picking up here. But we are, thank God, um, having a plan over here. So I love this. I love this and I love you getting the clarity and the passion back. It was about time. Now let's ask for some guidance, Cancer. Let's see what we need to do. And that is such a beautiful evolution, Cancer. Such a beautiful evolution. We have new love. So we have new love coming. We are wondering if we're going to have one. Um, and yeah, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And Cancer, we do have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And baby, you have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Might be some struggle financially, but really, it's like allow time and space for new love and free yourself, um, you know, from whatever keeps you right maybe you are in your finances are entangled with this person's finances and you are really guided to free yourself and you have the financial independence with the nine of pentacles free yourself and whatever keeps you entangled with this person finances and career it's like you know coming together and you will for some of you you'll have your financial independence here as soon as you free yourself ideas will come the flow the new flow of energies is coming in and it's beautiful king of wands i mean he's he's a leader he um embodies the energy of leadership and wands are about passion and career so i'm kind of feel like somebody here is um gently guided towards what uh, brings a fire in your belly your passion um so hey let's ask for some guidance we do have the three of cups wonderful news is on its way i love this announcements regarding engagements pregnancies birth or graduations will be revealed new friends will be made speaking of new love maybe it's a new friend that will become more than a friend new friends will be made or communities of like-minded people with will draw closer to one another exciting new beginnings 
where happy endings are just around the corner and you do have the moon which is Pisces energy might be a Pisces coming your way as a new love and it is intuition and insight your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now um, so you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way it may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now okay the moon i love this intuition and insight and celebrations and new people new people new energies this is how i feel you have new free yourself new new intuition and insight your gut feeling will tell you if they are the right ones for you so let's see what energies we need to get back in the flow and we do have empathy i am open to seeing both sides of a situation and honestly um cancer this is really um i it doesn't feel like they were playing you i do believe that they were playing themselves i do believe they got entangled in something and their life stopped for a minute um and at the moment you met them i'm not sure they were available for the level of commitment you want and now they know they know it was a missed opportunity they know they know they've missed somebody important with the four of cups right now as we speak and they want to balance things out um cancer we have another guidance piece of guidance for you and it says surrender to your creativity let your imagination soar stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem i know it's too many we do have surrender your fear of change so yeah it has to be a change and you'll have to be creative out of the box thinking so um surrender your fear of change the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always whether you're afraid of a change in your job your health or a relationship or if you're if you fear aging or death repeat the affirmation i have faith that all is well honestly you have finances and career and it comes back again it's kind of like you were in a business with this person or you came together you created something and now as you free yourself you also have to kind of take into consideration the money the money or the stability aspect of it you have it twice right and it's not by mistake it's a message here for somebody so that's why i'm saying we do have commitment surrender your fear of change and now we have commitment so it's okay to change your commitment to this person so you dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly knowing that love is the essence of your very being so this is how we need to get the energy back into the flow the commitment energy of um you know expressing love being committed to love and we have patience we need to get the patience back into the flow um and we have you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm bottom of the deck surrender procrastination now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off taking action will attract success yeah we let go and we take action that is something we let go with empathy and we take action in a creative way i love this i simply love this and nine of pentacles as the overall energy this is you standing tall honestly 360 you standing tall and in a state of balance with the six of swords and in the know and in that peace of mind that you need to be in order to get creative and make changes happen simply love this so cancer this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you right i wish you nothing but the best i wanted to stay strong and safe and um as always please let me know what you think don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time love you take care